YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Kicks and Rubber, with this big ass unboxing. There's only one thing it could be. What came out in the past couple weeks that was a pack. It actually came with two sneakers. Look how big this box is, man. This shit is crazy. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Yeah, uh, yeah let's get into this uh, unboxing. It goes from Nike with that white tape. Crap out of the way. Turn label. Oh, this is the pain pack. I'm about to take it out and we're gonna go through it. I'll be right back. So, we're back. I took it out of the big ass box it was in. Let's go through this, man. The box comes with a, uh, I mean, on the outside, the detailing has the Penny Hardaway on the bottom right. It has the uh, detailing of, what are those, Tigers? I don't know what that has to do with Penny Hardaway, but yeah. Tigers all over the box. The label is the Penny Pack Quick Strike. Retail 500. Comes the tiger all over the box. All over the box. Alright, let's open this joint up. Man. The one cent logo on the top. Alright. Now, on the, wait, let me get my camera up. On the top of the box, it has number one, Ballin' is what I was born to do. The signature of Penny, write that up, Penny Hardaway. And then it says uh, Nike Air Foam Posit 1, old school league rules, couldn't stop Penny, Hard Penny from changing the game in 1997. He used the market to create the Tiger Foam Posit by hand to dominate on the court. So I guess that's why the Tiger's on there. And then on the right side it says Nike Air Penny 6. The legacy continues celebrating the 20th anniversary of the first Air Penny from 1995. The six reimages the re reimages, my bad. Reimagines the future of the one cent signature series. And let me uh, tone it back down. And it comes with this card. Oh, I guess uh, it tells you why right here. I was going to explain the story, but it tells you why he. Put the Sharpie to the phone posit. In 1997, introduced a technology that would revolutionize footwear. <clears throat> Inspired by a Beatles rugged interior armor, the phone posit one looks like nothing anyone had ever seen before. Penny Hardaway's signature shoe remains a futuristic today as it was 18 years ago. There was only one problem Penny could not wear them on the court because they violated the uniformity clause. The solution was heaven sent. Penny took it upon himself to add a mandated amount of black by adding stripes with a felt tape marker. The rest is history. Alright, so on the left side. Boom. I see bottom. Royal blue upper with the black. Okay, no peaks. Oh, what is this, Mikey? What is that? 
Y'all can't be sending $500 sneakers with stains on them, man. That can come out. Medial side. So basically, it's a royal foam posit with black stripes in it. I have the royal foam posit from 06. Still got the, well, I didn't still get them. I bought them like in 2012 or something like that, but paid a hefty penny for them too. But anyways, back to this. So yeah, there goes the Sharpie foams and the Air Penny 6. <laughs> I'm gonna just say this right now. They shouldn't have never made this a pack. Nobody wants this shoe. Nobody. I think these phones would have sold out better or more. I mean, it did sell out. This pack did sell out, but I don't think it was a hard pack. Hard pack to acquire. And a little bit of icy bottom. A little bit of iciness at the bottom. This is plastic, not carbon fiber. One cent logo. I wonder how comfortable they are. On the tongue, it says Penny Hardaway. It has this, uh, I guess, a lace lock. This kind of lace lock. This symbol right here. One cent logo on the tongue. Uh, damn, this feels like the material the um the bronze are made out of. I forgot the name of that material. Flannet? No. Yeah, flannet or whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure. The inside has the six Penny Hardaway signature. There's a lot of Penny Hardaway <laughs> written on here. We get it, guy. It's your sneaker. We know. With the fly wire blue coming out, all the laces in. The inside just has Air Penny Six. With the Nike. I wonder if these are comfortable. Oh, on one. Take this out. Damn, can't take these off for shit. Well, it has a whole bunch of accomplishments in there, and it has a 42 point that uh, Penny, 42 point game that Penny had. God damn! So, this is the accomplishments on one sneaker? Yeah, two assists, 42 points, eight boards. Eight rebounds, two assists, two downs, two rips. He shot. Field goal percentage was, what does that say? 533. Free throw percentage was 9 out of 10. So, and uh, three point percentage, damn, he shot kind of terrible. One for four. And that was April 29th, 1997. Let me see if the other one. Yep. Three rejections, seven boards, forty one points, four assists, four dimes. Oh, four, yeah. 48 minutes, four rips. He shot 14 out of 16 that game. Oh, he shot a lot better for uh, three pointers. He shot uh, four for eight, and field goal percentage is 12 out of. He shot 12 out of 23, and this is May 1st, 1997. You guys can see that. So, yeah, man. Personally, <laughs> I don't think this pack cost the the value of this pack is up there 
But you know, these are, I don't know if I'm gonna let them go or what. What you guys think, man? I already got these, so I'm not really, I mean, these are, these are okay. These are like a, just because they're phones, they're like a four. They're like a four out of five, just because they're phones. They're gonna look good when you unlace them and, and do that. But these, these are like a two, man. These are really ugly. I'm not even gonna lie. They're probably good basketball sneakers, but nobody wants these, man. Penny six, no. I'm just giving my honest opinion. Yeah, not really messing with these. These, which ones do you like more? These or these? You know, some people may like these more. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man. You guys got to let me know. I respond back to everybody. I respond back to most of everybody. As long as you don't ask me no stupid questions. I respond back to everybody, mostly. And, uh, yeah. It's your boy, Kicks New Era. What y'all think about these, man? The price too steep? I know the price is too steep. Because these, uh, this pack was not worth $500. If anybody wants these, I'll sell them. Uh, no less, nothing less than 500 though. I mean, don't come, don't come to me talking about 400 or nothing like that. I probably won't do an on-feed of these. Because I might try to sell them, if not... I might do an off feet later if I don't sell them. But yeah, man, this video's going on a little bit too long. It's your boy, Kicks New Era. This is the Penny, uh, the Penny Pack Sharpie Foams, Penny Six, and I'm out of here.